Lately, there's been a lot of discussion about the growth of regulation. So I just wanted to demonstrate how much federal regulation has grown since the year 1950. Now, federal regulation is captured in volumes like this, called the Code of Federal Regulations. These days, the average volume has about 750 pages in it. So let me start by showing you the quantity of regulation that we had back in the year 1950. So in 1950, we had the equivalent of 13 average-sized books. And these blocks represent the major regulatory agencies and departments that exist today, but were created before 1950. For example, the Department of Labor, Department of Agriculture, and the SEC. Let's fast forward to 1970. So now we're in 1970. You can see we've got five times as much regulation as 1950. That's 73 of those average sized books. We've also added six significant regulatory agencies, including Housing and Urban Development, the Department of Transportation, and the Environmental Protection Agency. Let's fast forward again to 1990. So now we're in the year 1990, and we have 13 times more regulation than we had in 1950. That's over 170 books. We've also added six more significant regulatory agencies, including the Department of Education, the Department of Energy, and Health and Human Services. Let's fast forward one more time to today. So, as of mid-2013, there were 235 volumes of regulation. That's 18 times the amount of regulation that we had in 1950. We've also added four more significant regulatory agencies, including Homeland Security and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So, clearly there's a lot more regulation. Do we have any way of making sense of all this? In a new tool called Reg Data, we count up the restrictions, words like shall, must, and prohibited. There's well over one million restrictions in the Code of Federal Regulations. If you want to know about the consequences of that, check out this piece I recently wrote with my colleague Robert Green. We talk about the effects of regulation on jobs, economic growth, and the poor.